This video is going to quickly show you how to use the ArcMap Style Manager. Oftentimes you want to make sure that your symbology is matching that of someone else's. Uh, also, you can standardize your own symbology to match kind of a, a corporate style guide. Uh, in this example, uh, we're going to open up ArcMap and go to Tools, Styles, and Style Manager. This is going to list all the different uh, styles that we have available. Uh, as I can see, if I open up on each one, anything with a colored um, folder basically means that I have some type of customization in there. Anything with a white folder means I have no customization and I'm just taking the ESRI default. So I can open up the ESRI styles and I can see that each one of these you know, these are all the default files within the ESRI style. Uh, what I'm specifically interested in is this because this is my personal style file. Every time I log on um, to uh, my computer and launch ArcMap, these are the styles that are going to be unique to this login. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and add in another style um, in a different place and we're actually going to copy some of the symbology locally to this style so that way we can use it uh, anytime I log in and, and then that way I'm not dependent upon the style that I add in. So what you do is you down click on styles and all the way down at the bottom there's an add function which opens up a window and you're going to go ahead and navigate to where the styles are located and you're going to go ahead and pick a style and it's going to add it and we added Zach and if I expand on Zach I can see that I have some certain customizations I have line customizations marker customization text customizations and so I'm going to go for the line symbols and I'm going to go ahead and click on one and right click actually so and we'll just hit copy now I have to keep in mind it has to copy in the same directory. So if I copy something from line symbols, then I have to make sure that on my guide, I click on line symbols, I right click on here, and I hit paste. Now this has already been done, um, so I'm not going to go ahead and do this one. But as you can see, I have multiple style guides in here. There's another one over here, and I know, um, let's see here, and backgrounds, or I'm sorry, borders. Uh, there's a TCA border that I like to use, so I'm going to go ahead and hit copy, right click, copy, go up to mine, I go to borders, there's nothing there. If I click on this and hit paste, I now have a customization called TCA border. Now, what I can do is I can now uh, remove these um, guides themselves or uncheck them. So I can, so Zach 2 can be unchecked and Zach can be unchecked. Um, and uh, I think this is interfering with the fact that it's both Zach, but um, you get the idea. I'm not necessarily dependent upon that external style guide. And now, anytime I open up a legend, I can symbolize it with using the new style. 